Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed night wherever you are in the world. Praise God, praise God. And I am here with part two, rap, hip hop, gospel, Illuminati, and sage control of the music industry. And so what I'm going to be talking about tonight is actually the power of music. The power of music. It's, it's so much stuff, so much information, right? So as you know, it's more of a teaching. So not preaching it's teaching hallelujah okay so I'm gonna take my time and explain to y'all because I, I want you guys to really understand what's going on here it's not just about spirits it's, it's about really explaining and getting in depth with everything okay so the power and elevation of music there should be no doubt about the fact that music is powerful and can be a minister either for good or evil over mankind. So you have to understand. So it is a ministry, regardless of what type of music it is. It's just that who are you ministering to, right? Music may have beneficial or harmful results. Under the influence of hosting music, a person can be lifted to lofty heights and energized to spiritual activities. Under the influence of corrupt music, a person can be brought down to satanically inspired, vicious, come on somebody, I'm talking about killing, stealing, acting like zombies, come on somebody out there. So both of these influences can be seen in the history of Israel as well as the history of mankind in general. It is also evident in today's world of music, the power, evolution, and ministry of music will therefore be considered forever. Come on somebody, you know how y'all say, well people are legends, well this is why. So let's talk about the positive, the positive effect of music, okay? Doctors find that good music, even in hospitals, has a positive effect. Nervous tensions are ease. Dr. Phil Kerr in Music and Evangelism says that the music has been known to soothe violently insane persons and even some cases of epilepsy have been prevented by good music. Both doctors and dentists use music to enable patients to withstand pain. That's why you notice, y'all think y'all thought they just wanted y'all on hold, huh? When they play good music, <laughs> you see what they're doing now, right? King Saul was eased of the trouble of an evil spirit by the good music that David played. And that's in 1 Samuel 16, 15, 17, and 23. All right, let's talk about some more of this. Industrialists have found that music in factories or large stores help businesses both to relax nerve and speed up production. So now y'all know, y'all thought they were just bored. And no, music make you either work more, work less, feel good, feel bad. Come on, somebody. So everything has an intention. Scientists have also discovered that music helped cows to give more milk. Did y'all know that? And hence to lay more eggs. Even plant life growth and development is affected by good or bad music. I don't know if you guys knew that. Music is used constantly to stir up patriotism in every nation on earth. National anthems are used to stir up emotions. Now let's talk about the negative effect of music. If you play something repetitive, rep repetitious, I'm sorry, Hypnotic music was a tribal inducement to stir the mind, emotions, and body to war. So when you listen to certain rap and hip-hop, that's why you want to just go kill somebody. Come on, somebody, I'll you. Or you want to go, how they say, um, slap the bees. I'm just being real. Y'all know what, I, what they say. I'm not going to say all that. So that's why they're doing this. Now listen to what it says. It says, it also induces lust, lust or engage in cannibals. So you mean to tell me some music make you want to eat people? Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Also orgies. Abnormal reactions and unnatural behavior are the result of evil music. So yes, music can be evil. Certain types of music or jazz are more likely, especially rock music, have brought about recent in, in generations of Western culture, the suggesting sensuous movements. Inflamed by this kind of music have brought about a moral breakdown in society. So check this out it was not school it was not colleges it was not the white man the black man it has been music that have been breaking us down for generations and people don't even know what you think it's just something you just turn on the radio it's something simple honey the masses have been being controlled and didn't even know it that was smooth how they did that right because we we love music especially if you hear something nice not knowing it, it it's it's helping you to be, be formed and shaped in the way that they want you to go in this country. Oh, come on, somebody. Why y'all think they're giving them rappers all that money and then killing them? Oh, y'all don't hear what I'm saying. So let me continue. 
The suggestive and sensual movements are inflamed by this kind of music have brought a moral breakdown in society. The music carries its own power. So I want y'all to understand that the music carries its own power. It can be soothing or it can be reviling. It can be used for good or it can be used for evil. Music and emotion. Music is vitally connected to its power of the emotions. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. According to Fear Kerr, in speaking of the power of music, he says that music is an expression of human emotions. The basic law of human nature is that emotions seek expression. God has provided two normal changes for this, is rhythm, physical movement, and vocal sound. All emotions include either pleasure or pain. So when you're listening to these rap or even sensual music or even slow music, you notice your love, love music. Back in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, it was more love. That's probably why they called it baby-making music. Now, what is the music? Hate, kill, rob, steal, take drugs, you know, curse your parents out. All right, so let's talk. It says, all emotions, uh, in fact, expresses the joy of clapping or the beating of hands or tapping your foot. Now, the sorrow, it may express by people bending over in pain or groaning. Now... What rap and hip hop is doing, anger or temper, or often expresses itself in shouting wildly at someone or something. What is rap doing? Right now, what are they doing? They're rapping and they so say getting it out, but they're not rapping the way they used to. Hip hop used to rap about, okay, it was the Black Panther, the black movement, people getting free, the way blacks are getting treated. Now, if you notice, it doesn't matter. White, black, Mexican, everybody's rapping about the same thing. War drugs, I get the gat and I kill the person, guns, y'all not understanding. And the sad part is, it's these major record companies that are telling them, oh yes, I'll give you a million dollars, because we want you to incite the people to kill, kill, kill. This is part of the Illuminati trick, because guess what, they want a new world order. And the only way they're going to do it is through chaos. Isn't it getting chaotic? Isn't it getting crazy? Y'all wondering what's going on? I'm going to break it down for you. Praise God, praise God. So anyway, Joy and pleasure find expression in laughter and sometimes tears. Now, all human emotions seek a vocal or physical expression. That's what Dr. Kerr said. He said the expression of motion is the foundation of the rhythm. So every rhythm that's in music, in rap or anything, it actually gets your body going. So some of the rhythms that they are actually rapping to, and y'all think the beat is good, it's making your mind think kill, 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 still, 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 cheat, 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 have sex, sex, sex. Do drugs. Y'all understand what's happening? So it's the rhythm. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Let me continue. He says, so the focal expression of emotion. So that's why y'all like these guys like 6 9 and all these other people that talk about all this crazy stuff. Don't go to school. We hate school. F school. They're saying all this stuff, you know. And I'm just repeating what they're saying for a reason. So then he says that each of them are being channeled for the expression of emotion. So hold on. Channeling is a spirit. So I wonder who they're channeling from. Are they channeling from the dead? Are they channeling from evil spirits? So you think people just going in there and rapping about this stuff. No, no, no. It's channeling from a spirit. It's just like if good music, love, love is channeling from God, right? So now they're channeling from an evil place. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. He suggests that a person's individuality, capacity for emotion, often determines the ability to produce music. Now you know why they pick certain people. Have you noticed that the rappers that they have been elevating have been the angry ones on purpose, right? Just like uh, Future. He was talking about Percocet, Percocet. Y'all know people started ODing on Percocet, right? Y'all understand what's really going on? You're being brainwashed, young people. I don't even know it. And parents, you want to give them everything. And this is, how, this is where you're going wrong at. I know that in life we didn't have everything growing up because I'm 50, so I understand that. So the mindset is I want to give them everything that I didn't have, but what you're not doing is you're not raising them the right way. You're not teaching them about morals. You're not teaching them about respect, and you're not watching what they listen to. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. That music is the one that's taking our kids for a big dive. First it was the videos, Grand Theft Auto and all that kill, kill, kill. I hope you understand the combination here. That's why I'm doing these videos. I'm not just doing it for my health. Hallelujah. All right, let me continue. Also, it talks about a high temper, intensely emotional. There's nothing wrong with having emotion, but when your emotions control you, then you are being controlled and the problems arise, and then it is sensual and channeled through the music. And then it makes up the human 
makeup that God intended not for it to be. It was supposed to be healing, but instead it is rage. So a lot of them are actually expressing from a, a, a place of rage, a place of sadness. They even talk about coming suicide like it's a good thing. Oh, come on somebody, hallelujah. Music and emotional responses are vitally connected. All music, whether vocal or instrumental, can be classified into three groups. So let me go ahead and tell you the, the three groups. Music which expresses emotion, and any emotion can be expressed. The second one is music which incites emotion. That's what rap and hip hop is doing right now. It's exciting a lot of people to do bad. Come on, somebody, I'll you. And also music which is descriptive. That means any picture, turmoil, if they're talking from a sadness. And then what it happens is it's the fruits of the spirit that's expressing. Instead of making it a holy emotion, it's works of the flesh, expression. And what it's doing is manner works of the flesh that pertains to the kingdom of darkness. So all of this is actually from the kingdom of darkness. Now we talked about last night, Satan being Lucifer, come on somebody, he was the choir director in heaven. When he got kicked out, he got kicked out with his gifts. So now he's down here on earth. Now do you understand why the most powerful industry is the music industry? We talked about the frequencies last night. We talked about certain instruments that make your body move. We have um, certain beats that make you want to go crazy. Rock music. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Now let's talk about the evaluation of music. It's attempting to evaluate music to ask you some questions. What is it? What kind of music? And does God enjoy it? What do believers enjoy? Because believers also, to actually keep the youth, what they're doing now in, in youth ministries, well, we got to think like them and walk like them and talk like them in order to draw them. Did Jesus do that? So are you saying, example, that in order to get a drunk to stop drinking, you got to become drunk? In order to get a whore to stop whoring, you got to become a whore? You get the example? We should never have to give up holiness to get the kids to come into the church. No, 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 no. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So you have to understand, when you're allowing this music to be played in the sanctuaries, and I've seen some videos where y'all play music just to keep them, you know, I guess, excited or the case may be. Is it glorifying God or is it installing hate? Or does it come from the kingdom of darkness? All right, let me continue. We're talking about melody and harmony. First, the melody of it is the most creative part of music. Therefore, it should be the strongest part. So the melody is the strongest part. Melody appears to the spiritual or to the spirit of a man. Did you know that? The melody of the music. It's good and proper melody should be able to be sung by itself and not necessarily to have an instrument to accompany it. So if somebody have a strong melody, then they can really be sensed to your spirit. Did you know that? Okay, I'm sorry about that. I had turned it off, but <laughs> I don't know. I guess they turned it back on. Yeah, I'm saying it like that. The first basic test and primary elevation of music is whether it is a good melody or not. The scripture speaks of melody in these verses. Now, it talks about it in the Bible. I'm going to take it to you. Isaiah 23, 16 says, Take in harp and make sweet melody. Sing many songs. Now, you and I both know a harp is a beautiful music, right? But you can also take a harp and, and, and actually summon demons. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Isaiah 51, 3 says, Joy and gladness should be found therein, thanksgiving and the voice of melody. So music piece into song accompanied by an instrument that is for God will bring gladness and goodness and love. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Now, Amos 5, 23 says, I would not hear the melody of the vowels. That's anything vowel. You understand what I'm saying? So this is why you have to watch what you are listening to. And parents, you got to watch what you're listening, looking at as well. Because those kids are watching what you look at TV, what you're saying in your home. Come on, somebody out of here. So we're talking about music. We're talking about music. Funeral music is often in the minor key. Healing music is welling in the minor. It was sin that introduced the creation of the minor note. Did you all know that? Oh, come on, somebody. One note can be transformed into a major chord into a minor. And it's C, E, and G. And I said that last night. So did you know that all music that's in the minor is actually supposed to be geared toward creating sin? Did y'all know that? I'm, I'm doing something. Call back later. God bless you. All right. So praise God. Praise God. So let's talk about the basic youth conflict. Most youth lately 
they're been on medication, right? So here's what the Illuminati is doing, in case you just don't know. They're getting the parents to not to be parents, so they're getting the world to actually parent your child. We're talking about rappers. We're talking about people like Beyonce. Are you understanding the devalue that they're doing? They're taking down the family structure. They already took out the man because women running stuff now. And that's crazy because that's not of God. That's not the order of God. So now let's attack the kids because the kids are supposed to the future. So if we feed them drugs, if we feed them thugs, if we feed them violence, then they will spew violence. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this, but I want to identify what music really is. Identification, not only should music be checked to its origin, its origin, so everything that you listen to, you need to Google why you, what you're listening to. Because you really don't know. It sounds good, and they got a good beat, but where did the origin come from? Oh, come on, somebody, I'll leave you. I know I'm going a little deep with this. It can inspire the heart of the saints to the music of heaven, surely that God is in the realm of divine music that man never dreamed of. But it is also available in this last days that the church is turning the gospel to another entity. Okay, let's talk about that for a moment. I want to really challenge every last one of you. I'm not talking about just sound good music because that's good and everything. When is the last time you really heard a song that took you into the presence of God? Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Don't play with me now. I'm not talking about just they can go up a key and down a key. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. When was the last time you heard something that took you straight into the presence of God? So they have also infiltrated the gospel industry now. And I don't care. I said it last night. A secular artist have no business working with a gospel artist. I'm sorry. And hold on. If you don't see any change, what well, there has not been any change, every secular artist that team with a gospel artist, they went back to being a secular artist. So that means, now that, that could go two ways and don't get mad at me. So if you truly have the anointing and you want to touch them, why wouldn't they touch why didn't they get saved? What happened? Why did they go back to doing the same thing that they were doing before? So then it wasn't the idea of salvation. It was the idea of recognition. If these gospel artists tell the truth, they wanted to be recognized. Because i.e. the gospel industry is low and the secular music is high. So if I team up with them, people will know me. Body of Christ, that's what's going on. And that's why I'm doing these videos. We are falling far from God and don't even know it. Because everything that look like God, sound like God, is not God. The devil knows the Bible. The devil, he is the choir director, hallelujah. And he's still, he's still directing, honey. Hallelujah. He's still directing straight into the gospel if you want to know the truth. So that's why you have to be mindful of what you're listening to. If you don't agree with your spirit, don't listen to it. Let's talk about something else. Music is generally identified with something or someone. So everything that you listen to is identified with something or someone. Are you listening to something that elevates the spirit of God? Or it downs the spirit of God? Is it elevating the spirit of darkness, the kingdom of darkness? Okay, let me... The world, the flesh, or the devil. Can certain styles of music be identified with sensuality and works of darkness? Of course it can. Therefore, another guideline is to endeavor to have music that identifies with the things of God. You know, I don't want to do that no more. Oh, that don't sound good. It don't have a good beat to it. And, and some even gospel rap. It does not help the spirit of God. I'm sorry. Finally, let's talk about communication. Music is primarily a means to an end. All music is meant to convey a message and bring a response to the same. So listen to what I just said. All music is meant to convey a message. That means they want to see you kill. They want to see you steal. They want to see you drop out of school. You got people, you got our kids these days wanting to be a rapper, then a doctor. Hold on. In the hood? Because I come from the hood. The rapper and the drug dealer is celebrated while the person is going to school or goes to the Marines. Well, they doing okay. Ain't nobody want to be real. Come on, come on. Hallelujah. Y'all don't see what's happening. Y'all don't see the twist of the world, what they're doing. And it's the Illuminati controlling, pulling all the strings. It's just like everybody on a puppet string. Because yeah, guess what the final line is? Who making the most money? It's not even about integrity. It's not about moral. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. 
Let me continue. So one should ask, what does this music communicate? What response does it bring? What is the fruit of it? Music should convey a message that is founded by the word of God. Music is blessed means to an end, and that ends is to glorify God. When Satan was created, he was created with musical instruments in his body. As a matter of fact, he was the most beautiful cherub. He had pearls, stones, diamonds. So when he was created, he was created to glorify God. He was supposed to make angelic music. So now he's kicked out of the kingdom of God. So now he's in the kingdom of darkness. What do you think he's doing? He's warring against God. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The test of all hymns, gospel songs, and lyrics, all of it, you have to ask yourself, is it scriptural? Is it theological? Does it teach, admonish, edify according to the standards of the word of God? If not, then it should be rejected as being unworthy of God and his people. And that is word of God, by the way. Let me continue. The highest ministry in music is to the Lord in worship, prayer, and praise. The cease of the believer is a ministering priest unto God in the church. That's First Peter 2, 5, and 9. Do you understand? If you're going to sing gospel, it should be elevating God and not just sound good. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Now, let's talk about the ministry to the sinner. So do you not know there's only two kingdoms? I don't know why y'all thinking we just live in a world in a bubble. There's only two kingdoms, honey. The kingdom of God and the kingdom of darkness. Which one you serve in, by the way? Hallelujah. So now there's the ministry to the Lord and there's the ministry to the sinner. Did y'all not know? Every time you speak, oh, come on, somebody. They're not ready for me, Lord. We're all ministers. It's just which minister are you? Which kingdom do you represent? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So ministry to the Lord is supposed to uplift the people and uplift God. Minister to the sinners. Let me tell you what they do. They want to reach the sinners. And they want to have all of them converted to reject Christ. Hallelujah. Sometimes with a sermon that never reached them, but a music that teach them. Come on, somebody. Isn't that what's happening? Music that's going into our children's ears. And you parents are not you. The system, feral system, got y'all working so much that y'all can't even watch y'all kids. The mother, you see, the mother can't not be a mother anymore because now she has to work. Back in the 60s, 70s, the 80s, they used to let just the father work. Now, the oppression, suppression, and what the Illuminati have done is created a new world order system, a federal system. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. So now both parents have to work. So now who's teaching the kids? The rappers, the superstars. That's what they look up to. They don't look up to parents anymore. They don't want to be like their dad no more. They don't want to be like their mom no more. They want to be like Beyonce, which is a high piece. Just I don't care what y'all say, get mad, whatever. They want to be like, um, what's the next one? I don't know all these rappers. Six nine, talk about drugs. Y'all understand what's happening here? I pray that we understand that our youth are, are dying because of it, because we don't have an understanding of what's happening. All right. Also, it's a ministry of way commuting, communicating the good news to the unsaved. That's when it's the ministry of the Lord. When it's the ministry of the sinner, it's telling people kill yourself. As a matter of fact, y'all don't know that that was that's the saying, kill yourself. Slay. Everything that the enemy does is to steal, kill, and destroy. It is not just to promote and to say, okay, um, we're making it. Because now you got these kids wanting to be rappers, wanting to be this and that. They don't even want to live right no more. We have too many children killing each other because of the ministry to the sinner and the ministry of the darkness of the music. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So let's talk about the last thing here. The part of the ministry is supposed to be a believer's word to reconciliation. So all music is reconciliation. Reconciliation means drawing in two. Are they drawing to God or are they drawing to Satan? Okay. Let me tell you something right now. Satan wants to take everybody with him to hell. He has but a short time, and that's what he's doing, by the way. He knows he has but a short time, and in any way possible, if I can get to these kids, if I can show them this money, if I can show them this drugs, if I can show them these guns, and if I can make it popular, then I can kill, steal, and destroy much of the population. These kids are not living to be 21, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus. So what am I saying? 
My plea is to the parents. My plea is to the leaders. My plea is to the older people. Teach the young people what is honesty. Who is God? Y'all not even teaching them that. Y'all just want to draw them by any means. Come into our church. We have it going on. We will a mega church. But y'all sitting now, y'all not teaching them the Bible. You're not teaching them God's laws. And so now we have a world that is teaching our kids what to do, what not to do. Who to be, who not to be. So I charge all of you that listen to this video, go back to the oracles of God. Go back to the biblical foundation of God and do your first work. What is your first work? Your first ministry is your family. But some of you, you ain't right yourself. Because as long as they're selling drugs out there and bringing in the money, it's good. But God is watching everything you do and everything you say. We are our brother's keeper. We are our children's keeper. We are each other's keeper. Whether you believe it or not. And you will be judged by what you do and what you don't do. What you say and what you don't say. Now, a lot of you say, it ain't my business. Oh, it's your business when it come knocking on your door. When death come knocking on your door, which I rebuke. Then it's your family member. We all have a say in this. Do your part. Stop listening to junk music yourselves. Because that's where they get it from. Stop cursing in the midst of them. Because that's where they get it from. Stop having adult conversations in the midst of the children. Because that's where they get it from. Stop putting them in adult conversations. Because that's where they get it from. Stop letting them listen to all these rappers that don't know they hid from their feet because that's where they get it from. <coughs> so I'm going to end this right now. God bless you. God keep you. I pray that y'all understand what I was really saying because I wasn't just talking. <laughs> Open your eyes. Open your spirit. And see what's going on for real. This world's getting worse. And I'm going to end this by saying I've never seen so much evil in my life. I, I never thought I'd live to see it truth be told. I see it even in daytime. You can't. You have to be so alert. Like what happened, you know, when this, when this girl got stabbed in Oakland. I, I'm going to say something. And I, I don't want y'all to think I'm being insensitive. But I have to say this. If that girl parents or anybody that she's been around. If that only taught her about the Holy Spirit and she had the spirit of wisdom and discernment, God would have warned her and y'all know it. And I'm not trying to attack nobody because trust me, I can imagine what that man's going through. So I, I do sympathize. Let's go back to the Charleston shooting. You mean to tell me in church, they let this, this, this Caucasian young guy sit there for an hour and a half and nobody knew what he was thinking? Nobody felt that this is not of God? Nobody got up and said, wait a minute, what's going on here? The church have lost the spirit of wisdom and discernment. That's what I'm saying. That's the whole thing in a nutshell. That's why I'm even doing this videos to let you know that we are desynthesized. We don't know the enemy when it's coming. We don't know when the enemy is speaking. We don't know when the enemy is near. How is it, church? How is it? Hallelujah. So I pray that we do better as a whole in Jesus' name. God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is who you are. God bless.